You might have heard that governments around the world are trying to regulate cryptocurrencies. What does it actually mean? Coming up. Hi, I'm Ajay from CoinLocker and I make these short videos to bring you interesting facts from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. According to the Webster Dictionary, the word regulate means to govern or to bring under control of law or to bring order, method or uniformity. So in the context of cryptocurrency, this means bringing Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies under the control of law. This is proving to be quite a challenge as cryptocurrencies don't belong to any one country and it's a global phenomenon requiring the cooperation of multiple countries. Also, what to regulate becomes a tough question for regulators as crypto ecosystem consists of many components like the core algorithms, the mining operation, the crypto exchanges, users and crypto related businesses. At its core, cryptocurrencies have few inherent properties. They tend to be global, decentralized and anonymous. If people start using cryptocurrencies in place of traditional currencies, this could lead to several problems. It could become a threat to the sovereign currency of the country. It could become an instrument for money laundering. It could be used to finance terrorism. Anyone can commit fraud and scams on consumers. An analysis of crypto regulation in about 40 countries suggested that central banks are the first to issue a warning or statement on crypto assets, followed by government departments such as the Ministry of Finance and other financial supervisory bodies. These are agencies who are handed the task to regulate crypto assets. If governments around the world come up with a consensual regulatory framework, it will benefit consumers worldwide. People will be able to easily and safely buy, sell and use crypto assets and even seek legal protection from frauds and scams. Companies can leverage blockchain technology and offer a new asset class. If you look at the map of the world, there are four categories of countries. The countries in green are places where crypto assets are permissive, meaning legal to use. The orange countries are places where crypto assets are contentious, meaning there are some legal restrictions on the usage, but they still are not prohibited. There are also other contentious countries in pink color where crypto assets are interpreted using old laws, but crypto assets are not entirely prohibited. The fourth class of countries are shown in red color, meaning they are hostile towards crypto assets and either have a partial ban or a full ban. If crypto assets are regulated, every citizen will have to declare his or her income from crypto assets. Then they would become like any other asset, like a commodity, property or vehicle. Government can tax crypto assets and incomes just the way they tax other incomes and assets. In the future, crypto governance could be conducted by a decentralized and international multi-stakeholder network of interconnected autonomous groups drawing from civil society, the private sector, governments, academics, research communities, national and international organizations. They could work cooperatively from their respective roles to create shared policies and standards for crypto assets for the good of the general public. That's all the time we have today. And if you want to catch the latest topics from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you want to read about the topics I just mentioned, please find the links in the show notes below.